Hello YouTube. Welcome back to Case Technologies. You're working with Sherman today. And this is our Python introductory course for beginners. Today we'll be talking about strings, ints, booleans, um, addition, multiplication, subtraction, lists, tuples, uh, methods, and how to import modules into a Python script. Now Python, uh, if you're not familiar with it, is, is a great uh, programming language. It's great for uh, data science. It's used a lot for that. It's used for uh, programming and, and software engineering. It's also used to, to put together quick scripts for system administrators, systems engineers, and people also are also using it for network automation. If you're working with uh, products like Cisco, Juniper, uh, this is good for you as well. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing I want you to do is go ahead uh, and go over to the Python website. You can go ahead and pull up a browser. And it's www.python.org. And you want to go to downloads, find out whatever your system is. If it's Mac OS X or Windows, let's just do Windows. And you can get the latest Python 3 release right here. Or you can just click on Python 3.8. It recognizes that I'm using Linux today. You go to downloads, select right here, or view the full list of downloads. And you just come here and select your version, with the latest being 3.8, like I said before. And if you want to read the documentation, you would come here, find your version, Python 3.x. You will either go through their tutorial if you want to walk through their the tutorial. You can do that. And you also can go to a library reference, and you can search on different libraries or modules so I just selected OS you go here to OS you can find out all the things that are a part of it. you can do OS.name get the type of uh, operating system that someone is using the underlying operating system on your, or your uh, that your Python is running on you can get OS.environment get all the environment variables that are associated with your current run of Python or your Python uh, associated with your Python path. You can do OS change directory, get current working directory, and we're going to cover some of these as we jump into the script. So let's go ahead and get into the action right now. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and put the shebang at the top. so that your Python script knows how to execute so your system knows how to execute the Python script rather and it's going to be user bin environment if you're on a Linux system All right. and if not you're going to have to look up how to set the environment variables for Windows the environment path or you can use something like PyCharm and it will find it for you and then we're going to go ahead and save this file. I'm going to save it in a music directory. And then I'm going to come out here and save it as intro dot intro or no. Let's do tut one. Dot pi. And it's going to pick it up and recognize that it's a Python script. The first thing we're going to talk about is variables here. In Python, they're very simple. I love it because you don't have to put any dollar signs or any characters in front of it to say, hey, this is a variable. It already picks it up and recognizes it. So it's not strongly typed. 
um, either you don't have to do a bunch of um, putting in what the type is before you you declare a string Python just knows so we're gonna start off with um, setting the variable for an integer so we're gonna say um, winner equals 20 loser equals 10 right and then we're just gonna simply add these up well first I'm gonna print them and using the print statement that's how you can get something out to standard out print winner and we're gonna print loser and then we're gonna do a simple addition problem right here winner plus loser all right and I'm gonna go ahead and add a string in there by putting quotation marks something like the total or the sum of winner plus loser all right and then we're just gonna go ahead and save that and then you're gonna have to go to the directory where you have the file saves and you're gonna if you're on Linux you're gonna have to make it executable so you're gonna do chmod plus X really quickly to do this twit one and then just going to touch one dot pi to run it dot slash, or you could do Python. Find your Python type. Python 3.6 is what I'm going to be running, and you can do tut one dot pi. Uh, 